Welcome to Accu Web Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to create an SPF record for a domain. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel Accu Web Hosting. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see what SPF record is and why is it required to create it. An SPF record is a TXT record that is part of a domain's DNS. It lists all authorized host names or IP addresses that are allowed to send an email on behalf of the domain. Some email recipients have made it mandatory to have an SPF record. If you do not have an SPF record for your domain name, your email can be marked as spam or the email will bounce. If an email is sent through an unauthorized mail server, the email can be marked as spam. Having a properly set up SPF record will improve your email deliverability and help protect your domain against malicious emails sent on behalf of your domain. To create an SPF record, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Gather all the IP addresses which are used to send an email for your domain. Step 2. Create an SPF record. Step 3. Publish the SPF record into your DNS server. Step 4. Test your SPF record with the SPF record checker. Let's see the steps in detail. Step 1. Gather all the IP addresses which are used to send an email for your domain. The Sender Policy Framework, SPF, gives the ability to authenticate your email and specify which IP addresses are allowed to send an email on behalf of the specific domain. To successfully implement SPF, you first need to identify which mail servers are used to send an email for your domain. These mail servers can be any sending organization, email service provider, office mail server, and any other third-party mail servers that may be used to send an email for you. For our testing domain name AccuWebTraining.com, we are using the email service of the Windows 2016 shared server and the IP address of the mail server is 72.xxx.xxx.xxx. For the mail server's IP address, you need to contact your mail service provider. Step 2. Create an SPF record. An SPF record should always start with the version number V equal to SPF1 version 1. This tag defines the record as SPF. After including the SPF version tag V equal to SPF1, you should follow with all IP addresses that are authorized to send an email on your behalf. Below is the example for it. Next, you can include an include tag for every third-party organization that is used to send an email on your behalf. For example, include colon third-party domain.com. This tag indicates that this particular third part. Y is authorized to send an email on behalf of your domain. You also need to consult with the third party to learn which domain to use as a value for the include statement. Once you have implemented all IP addresses and included tags, you should end your record with an tilde sign all or dash sign all tag. The all tag is an important part of the SPF record as it indicates what policy should be applied when ISPs detect a server which is not listed in your SPF record. If an unauthorized server does send an email on behalf of your domain, action is taken according to the policy that has been published. For example reject the email or mark it as spam. You need to instruct how strict servers need to treat the emails. The tilde sign all tag indicates a soft fail and the dash sign all indicates a hard fail. The all tag has the following basic markers. Dash sign all. Fail. Servers that aren't listed in the SPF record are not authorized to send an email. Not compliant emails will be rejected. Tilde sign all. Soft fail. If the email is received from a server that isn't listed, the email will be marked as a soft fail. Emails will be accepted but marked. 
plus sign all. We strongly recommend not to use this option. This tag allows any server to send email from your domain. After defining your SPF record your record might look something like below mentioned. Important note. Remember that your SPF record cannot be over 255 characters and has a maximum of 10 include tags, also known as lookups. Step 3. Publish the SPF record into your DNS server. Finally, after defining the SPF record, it's time to add the record to your DNS server. To add the records to the DNS zone, you need to contact your DNS service provider. It can be your hosting service provider, domain service provider or third-party DNS service provider such as Cloudflare, Google LLC, etc. Here, we will guide you on how to add the SPF record for a domain from the hosting control panel. First of all, you need to log in into the hosting control panel. We have used Plesk panel as a hosting control panel. Go to the upper left side of the screen. Select the websites and domains option and click on it. In the websites and domains window, you can see a list of domains and subdomains which you have added. Select the domain name on which you want to add the SPF record. Here, we have selected AccuWebTraining.com as an example. Find the DNS settings option and click on it. By clicking on it, DNS settings for your domain name will be open. Here, you can see the DNS records of your domain. Before adding the SPF record in the DNS zone, you should verify that no SPF record is added for the domain name in the DNS zone. If it is already there, you need to update it or you can remove it and add a new one. Here, we can see that there is no SPF record added for the domain name AccuWebTraining.com in the DNS zone. To add the SPF record, click on the Add Record button. In the Record Type field, you need to select the TXT option and click on it. In the Domain Name field, no need to add anything in the field. You need to keep it empty. In the TTL field, you can enter a value of 3600 as it is a standard value. Next is the TXT record field. In this field, you need to enter the SPF record value which you have created. After then click on the OK button to update the DNS record. Once you click on it, you will get a warning message below the DNS settings for your domain name section. The changes you made to DNS records are not saved yet. The changes are marked in the list of records. Click Update to apply the changes to the DNS zone. Click Revert to cancel the changes. Click on the Update button to save the changes. By clicking on it, the changes will be saved and you will get a message on the screen that the changes made to DNS records were successfully saved. You can also verify it from the DNS zone. You can see that the SPF record is successfully added in the DNS zone. Step 4. Test Yo. Er SPF record with the SPF record checker. 
as we have published the SPF record in the DNS server, we need to check the SPF record with the online SPF record checker such as MX Toolbox, whether it is successfully added. Open a web browser. Here, we are going to open Google Chrome as a web browser. Type MX Toolbox in the search box and press Enter. Select MX Lookup Tool link and click on it. Once you click on it, MX Toolbox website will be opened. Go to the right side of the screen and click on All Tools option. Locate SPF Toolbox from the main screen. Enter the domain name in the SPF Toolbox and click on the play button to check the record. You will get the result in the green color. The result will be the same which you have created for your domain. Please be informed that sometime, you will get an old value which was previously set. In that case, no need to worry about it. It means that changes which you have made in the DNS zone are under propagation. Generally, DNS changes may take 12 to 24 hours to propagate around the world. The SPF record is correctly configured when the SPF record checker has found an SPF record. The SPF record doesn't exceed the maximum number of 10 lookups. The configured IP addresses are real addresses that are used to send email from. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to create an SPF record for a domain. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.